yesterday I was talking to my daughters in the house and I told them I said please one day when you are married marry a husband don't marry a Christian husband now this is very controversial but let me explain it don't marry a man because he's a Christian marry a man because he's a husband because there are many Christians who are good Christians but they are bad husbands they love God but they don't love a woman they love God but they don't love a man the fact that somebody is a good Christian doesn't mean the person will make a good husband but you see you can never marry an unbeliever even if he's the best of a husband as for if the person is, a, is an unbeliever it's out you cannot marry an unbeliever no matter how the person packages himself or herself as a wife or husband you understand so when it comes to husband unbeliever is out when it comes to wife an unbeliever is out now when you come into a church don't marry a man or a woman simply because they love God they may love God but they don't love you they may be good Christians but they are bad husbands and bad wives oh what why, why, why do you want to marry him? We go to the same church. Are you sure it's enough? Why do you want to marry her? Oh, she fears the Lord. Those are the women. Can you imagine? You've married this woman. She, she, she loves the Lord. I agree. You are going near her. She says, today I'm fasting. But you didn't tell me you are going to fast today the secret things belong unto the lord but those things that are revealed belong to us fact too that a man loves the lord doesn't mean he will be a good husband listen some of even preachers or pastors are the most terrible husband you can ever meet they preach well they teach well they are anointed they can cast out devil but the same way they cast out devil is the same way they cast out woman what, what? it's not part of him he, he's not a man who will come to you and give you a peck mm, i love you no he loves the lord and then he loves his church members you the woman you are not part of his equation oh um, will you marry him yeah i'll marry him oh see the way the guy is very busy in the church running around with cameras he will shoot you. You, you he will use the camera and shoot you in the house he will give you video coverage the fact that the person is busy doesn't mean he, he will be a good husband oh who buy his oh who buy him and all your tongues <laughs> Oh, who by tongues? But here is a man, no attraction. He doesn't even know the size of his belt. He will wear the belt, and about half of it is hanging here. Prayer warrior. When he wears a tie, is the breastplate of righteousness. Tie easy. I don't say Abba now Kwame young young boy see the way I'm dressing God looks on the heart man looks at the outward appearance it is not the things that you see that are important hey! now Kwame who here hair cut you are Delilah you want to cut my hair and I'll lose my power so you see them they say I want to marry a Christian husband I agree marry a Christian husband if it's full Christian who is a husband but don't marry a Christian because you think automatically he's a husband I want to marry a Christian wife don't 
No, she may be a Christian, but she's not a wife because her mouth is too sharp. Some of the Christian wives, when they shoot one or two arrows, the other day I heard mommy talking to her, her daughters in the house. There, you people learn how to speak, learn how to speak. And I told them, I said, See, all of you. When you are going to marry, I will talk to your fiancés. All of your character, I will tell them your character. I will give you the real value of what you are going to marry. There was a situation, I brought two of them to my office. I said, the man, you, you are like this. The woman, you, you, you are like this. If you people decide to marry, please, don't marry because of me. My hands are not in it. Because this kind of character doesn't marry. 